How's it guys? So I've been asked numerous times how to charge LiPo batteries, or what storage options and, and what's what's balanced charge, etc. And, and the do's and don'ts. I'm just going to run you through some important things quickly on the charger and, and the LiPo. So, first of all, here's a brand new LiPo. And you can see this is obviously in storage mode at the moment. And then if you come across here, you've got a LiPo that has not been looked after. It's, it's remained charged. You can see how it's leaking. And this is now very unstable. This could catch fire. And it's even eating itself there on the cable. So this is a big no-no. Um, you burn your garage down, burn your boat down. It's happened. Um, I mean, also a very important factor is, especially in the camo, um, and in any other boat really, if you're using a backup system, you have to keep three cell with a three cell battery you can't mix and match your your batteries make sure that you've got the same cell on your main battery and your backup battery for instance you can't use a four cell with a three cell um, backup battery for instance because you're going to overload the other battery and then you're going to cause a fire so what we want to do is obviously before our session we never keep a battery charged ever you keep it in storage mode until the day you want to use it so the, the night before you're going to go to your charger you're going to select LiPo charge, okay? Um, and you're always going to balance charge. It is a slower charge, but it's going to balance all the cells um, correctly. So we're going to plug our, our main battery in here, and we're going to unplug our balance port in there. I just want to quickly do it. So you can see we've got our main power plugged into the, the charger, positive and negative, negative. Your balance board is plugged in here, and that plugs to the relevant cell battery you've got so if I had a four cell battery it'd be plugged in here you would only fit it in the in the correct slot unless you're really special um, so we're going to choose balance charge it is a three cell LiPo if you're not sure all the specs would be on the side of your battery so it's a three cell LiPo that we've got it's a 5000 milliamp battery the amperage is calculated automatically and then all we do is we hold enter in it'll then do a check and then start charging the battery balance charging it once it's ready it'll say full and then you can switch the charger off and, and disconnect the battery um, after your session advisable to to store the the batteries so you would I would advise run the battery down to its flat limit on your on your boat um, so that this so the charger doesn't have to do too much work to store it so once you get home you're going to then go into your LiPo setting again and you're going to choose storage charge and you're going to choose all the same specs of your battery if it's a four cell three cell whatever milliamps and then say store the battery it'll then start discharging the battery and you can see this battery is already in its storage state so it doesn't have to do any work really storage can take a very very long time if the battery is full in fact it could probably take a day or two depending on how, how much amps your charger is rated at to discharge so this charger will only discharge at a 0 0.3 i think it is so if your battery is full it's going to take a heck of a long time to discharge it um, and it will time out so what you should do is go into your user settings on your charger if you have a full battery just one second go into your user settings find on here so user settings and you're going to you're going to go to your timeout setting over here your safety timer turn it off and normally it's on 240 minutes so it'll run a cycle for 240 minutes and then stop but if your battery's full you want it to run until the battery's stored so turn it off rather than it'll run indefinitely until the said battery's in a safe storage uh, mode Cool, I hope that helps and yeah, tight lines.